All right, a good story here now. Two years ago during the pandemic, we introduced you to Jonathan Magic Mansoor, a Chaldean boxer from La Mesa who had earned a spot as first alternate on the U.S. Olympic team, only to have it taken away by rule changes. These days, Mansoor continues to improve. He is on track to shed the tag of alternate and become a full-fledged Olympian. When we first met Jonathan Mansoor two years ago, he had the hair. Your hair is looking good too, slick back and stuff. How long does it take you to get your hair like that, Johnny? Probably like three hours in the morning. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> but he didn't have the belt. This belt is amazing. Tell me about it. You know, I fought nine times just to get this belt. Yeah. You know, it was, it, was a, it was amazing to represent San Diego, California. National champion, Mansoor recently returned from winning a Golden Gloves National Championship. It puts him in elite company. It's a blessing, you know, I worked very hard for this tournament. Honestly, I'm very proud of him. We had no doubt that he can win it, uh, but it was just the fashion in which he won it that we're very proud of, very dominant fashion. Representing California, Jonathan Mansoor. Growing up, you know, seeing guys like Muhammad Ali all over the newspaper, just winning the National Golden Gloves in 1959, back in his days, mm -hmm. that's what inspired me. You know, so Muhammad Ali is one of my favorite fighters, so. As I grew up as a boxer, I said I want to win the Golden Gloves someday, you know? And at 22 years old, I did it. I won the Golden Gloves, and uh, now moving on to what's next. What's next is Olympic qualifying in December in hopes of making next year's games in Paris. How realistic a goal is it for him to make the Olympics in 2024? Um, it's, it's very realistic. Um, he's right there at the doorstep. Uh, they have their ins and outs and certain ways to go about it, but when it comes down to his skill level, he's, he's there, he's right there. The goal is to go to the Olympic trials, take my Olympic spot, and make it to the 2024 Olympics. What was the key to winning Golden Gloves? How do you actually reach that level? Well, you know, hard work beats talent. So I, I faced a lot of talented athletes out there, faced a lot of talented fighters, but you know, my key asset was using my footwork, listening to my coaches, you know, using my jab. I got a long jab, I got I got great footwork. You know, just just putting everything together. You know, most importantly for me, I've always had the skill, I've always had the talent. It's just about mentally and psychologically flipping that switch when I'm inside that ring. Uh, have you weighed that thing? Have you put that thing on a scale? I don't know, but carrying it all the way back home to California, it's like 25 pounds. It wasn't easy. <laughs> You're going to see the chiropractor wearing it on one shoulder like uh, that. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> He's wow. a great guy. There's going to be eight fighters in Jonathan's weight class at Olympic trials in December. We'll so that's the next big update step. Update on him. And I love yeah. his, his motto, hard work is better than talent. Yeah, He's no doubt about so it. so easy to root for. Mm -hmm. What a great young man. Hope, hope he makes it there. And I can only imagine Olympics, it, it, you do, you oh. make it there. That's a launching oh. point for a oh pro career. So yeah, no sure doubt that's about in, it. The, in the book for him. There. A great personality. He, sure he knows does. how to self-promote that yeah. as a boxer yes. truly does. And Looking forward to rooting you on. Yeah. Talented and hardworking, all mm -hmm. wrapped up in one. Thanks so much, John. Mm -hmm. we'll